happening guys welcome to another episode of get that bread i just finished up filming a live where i unboxed the bull bar and the winch so now i'm recording an actual video and i'm going to chuck it on so you'll notice the garage doors down because it is windy as hell outside but first things first we need to take the old bull bar off to get the new bull bar ready to go on let's get stuck straight into it All of this sort of snaking this way, then it was wrapped around another one down in here, but then there was this one that went all the way around back here and has a set of fuse, something here. Bloody hell, what an actual mess. is off so we still need to take off this section here which is sort of where the bar sits on or the stock one does and then we can get this one on so I might have to do a little bit of cutting here with the wheel guards and everything so this one's gonna sit a little bit higher I believe and I might need to take these off as well that was a little bit of a mission by by yourself yeah so I'll get this bit off now and keep going. One eternity later. It got stuck in, got the grill off. But I can't get this front bit off, so that's gonna have to wait till tomorrow. The sun is about to go down. But good progress made today. Tomorrow is Monday. So we'll slog it out for eight hours and then we'll come back out here and keep on going. The next day. Finished work for the day. So now we've got a couple of hours of sunlight to crack about this. So on my lunch break, I did manage to get this bar off. There was just four 
nuts on the back holding everything on. Um, the the Ford bar is really um, let's just call it interesting with all the different bits that have to come off kind of thing. But so now we're nearly ready to start putting on the new one. I just have to trim these here, and then we can start getting all of this new gear on. I was freaking out because there were no instructions with the kit, but they actually have their own video on YouTube. The next day. Righty, it is the next day and we are nearly ready to put the bar on. So I'm just going to mount the power box to the winch and then run the wires where they need to go. I'm not going to actually plug it plug it onto the battery just yet. Uh, I haven't exactly figured out where I'm going to put like the isolating switch and everything like that. Because then once I have that on, I should be able to put the bar on and then sort of get this piece back together a little bit. So the winch will just be an ornament for a little bit because I do need to actually drive the Ranger at some point this week. So yeah, um, let's get this cracking. It's like 4.30, just finished work. So gonna be running out of daylight real soon, but it's getting there. self-explanatory so match up your colors to the right color terminal negative goes on the bottom and then your power and your negative go up power will go to an isolating switch and then that switch will go to the positive and then when I did the winch on the nav this just went to the negative on the battery but I have read a couple of things that say you shouldn't do that so I'll look into that, but for now I'm just going to have this floating here um, once I get the rest of this all together. Full bar time running out of daylight, but we'll see if we can actually get it on there. Uh, a couple of reasons I chose this bar was because it had the mounts for the spotlights that I already have, but I think I might turf these because one, the rib nut that they're actually screwed into is actually spinning, which is ass. Um, and we might get another set, but they got a spot for spotties. I um, actually really liked how that curved out because that'll actually go around around where the headlights are. And yeah, it's a bit more aggressive than the other one. So this one was a bit low down on the sides kind of thing. And you can see it, it came to like this section here, but this one should wrap around. It still has the protection with the loops and everything like that. And I'm going to be doing this by myself, so that's going to be very interesting, but let's see how I struggle. The next day.
one eternity later. So Adam came over the other day and helped me lift this thing on. So I've got it pretty much in the position that it's going to be. And I just put a poll up on YouTube. Do we use the black insert? Or do we cut down a bit of the front bumper to fit in there? And it was a resounding win for the black insert. So I do agree. You can see that you have a gap between the headlight and your piece there, or you have a gap between the piece and the bar, which I think that'll just look a bit weird and might leave too much of a void. So we'll go with the black insert. So we'll get those put on now. And the other thing I have to do as well is in here, I need to drill, there's a couple of, on the back side there's where you've got to drill like a location hole, like a, you've got to drill a hole through here in two spots, which will then keep the bar from moving. So these ones allow you to move it around to get it in place, but then once you've got it in place, you have to actually like bolt it in. So I've got to figure that out. Just all these little things I didn't think about. I've been making good progress off camera. It's kind of just putting away at everything. I've taken the, I've readjusted the bar like four times and readjusted these infills a bunch as well. The kit did come with this stuff to fill the gap there. I'm still not 100% sold on that, but looking at photos online, that is what it's meant to look like. Um, so we've drilled the holes and got the extra bolts in there. Had to take the winch slightly apart to get in there, but got it done. And now I'm just putting on these that sort of support the wing sort of up in there. So might not do much more talking now and I'll just get cracking. So my goal is just to get it back to drivable. And then on a weekend coming up, I'll finish off the wiring and everything. So got to get the winch hooked up and the fog lights plugged in. Uh, but really quickly, if anyone has any other ideas other than this stuff to hide the gap kind of thing, let me know. The camera ran out of battery, so I just sort of went to town and everything left that I had to do. I believe I was putting the bash plate on when the camera ran out of battery, but I had to cut this so it would actually bolt up both sides so I just went to town with the grinder got that on um, decided the goal today was just to get it driving so I haven't wired up the winch but it is in there sort of ready to go I had to move the battery box down so the grill would actually fit in there still now I don't know if I should get a different grill or otherwise if I use this one I have to literally cut this part out um, just to mount that a bit better because at the moment it's just got one bolt holding it in place but I don't think it's going anywhere but we got the side plates on as well I went to start it and she was out of battery it's always a good time get it out of the garage once this is charged and we'll see what she looks like in the sun but it came out pretty good